saxophonist is saying, Mother is gold. The kind of gold so precious we cannot buy with money. Isn't it true? They gave us life, bringing us into this uncertain, strange but interesting dimension in the corner of the universe. They cry for us, laugh for us, sweat for us, bleed for us, and will even give their life for us if need be. Our mothers are our first friends, teacher, classmates, the God we knew before we met the true God. Having a good mother is a special privilege and a blessing. Mommy Abosedi was a blessing to humanity, one whose impact would remain in the sands of time. She's a mother. She's a mother in me. I don't know how I describe her. Wonderful. That has um, the heart of uh, bringing up uh, Mama gave me all the best any mother. I can say combine mother and father uh, to give to any child. I was like a golden child to Mama. I never lacked anything. Mama supports me with her kindness, with her love. She gave me the best education. I went to the, one of the best nursery school, primary school. In fact, I completed my secondary school in one of the best, the first secondary school in Nigeria. If time to collect our house rent, she will tell us just line up, my siblings and I, she tell us line up according to our age. Like all great mothers, Mommy Abosidi has certain values that she holds in high esteem. These values she instilled in everyone she had helped to raise and nurture. Our greatest values in life, I can say, is uh, I believe in equality, love for others, and um, encouragement, support for others, uh, seeing people successful in life, which I, I wish I tend to emulate, but I'm still trying, but I don't think I can ever um, reach that. Uh, level of which my mother reached uh, before she passed on and I still believe that whatever I do in, I, 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 I'm, I'm doing now is because of what my mother uh, left for us as children and grandchildren. That whatever you do in life, you don't pay back evil with evil. And secondly, in life, there are good people and there are bad people. So the wisdom that I learned from her was that you should not be distracted by the bad people. But one should remain focused on the good people. 
So I will hold on to that wisdom for as long as I live. Um, after completing my education, um, my secondary education in this country, I went uh, to Soviet Union to further my education. But my ma mother gave me the encouragement, the support, um, and came out in flying color and achieved uh, my medical degree. Without my mother, that wouldn't have been possible. But because she shares the education, and she took education as the most important word. Like, I mean, I can say my mother was the best mother in the world. Yes, she has led me. The most one I learned from her is that to be obedient to your elders and to be submissive to, you, to, to somebody that is uh, older than, than you. And uh, apart from that, the only thing I learned from her is, like I said earlier, time consciousness, neatness above all, to be neat and uh, education. She never played with any, any, any education at all. So she did not have opportunity of uh, educating of education due to circumstances during her own time. But she made sure that the education she did not receive she gave to the children. Um, I can say my mind is very, very accommodating. She can go out of her way to do things for others. I will give you a, a very good example, which I see and I witness myself. Because uh, there was a time we came from London with children. This woman, uh, she had a child, uh, maybe about six months old or nine months old baby, with a, a two year old or three year old girl. Do you know my mom was accommodating this lady, a, straight, a totally stranger from outside, that she doesn't know where she's from. The lady doesn't even speak uh, Yoruba properly. She speaks like uh, Aousa or one of these languages. She's looking after those children and the, uh, the, the lady. You, know, you can imagine to go out of your way and to inconvenience your own self Raising successful children is a talent on its own. So, what are those things that today's mothers can learn from mommy about these abilities? I'm not taking choco. No softening me. The operation they were put up on my chair. When Louis Bello alone, can they touch you? I'm mommy. Can they play? I'm mommy. What change your pataki? Tell me the follow what I say. Is that to be caring? Caring. And to be closer to your children. The more you are closer to the children, the more you know their needs. And uh, when you know their needs, even when you don't have you know, the children, we know that yes, you are caring. Mama belongs to the older generations. If you, if you like, let me use our older generations, where things were done properly, where there were no corruptions. If there were corruptions, they were very, very minimal. Where you you work hard for what you earn, and if you misbehave, you are disciplined. That is the generation you belong to. Uh, but the present generations of mothers who have a lot to learn from her. Everything she stood for. Love, compassion, truthfulness, steadfastness, empathy, and wisdom. So I hope our younger mothers of today will learn from what Mama left behind. And I am just hoping and praying that we that are mother's children and our grandchildren and great grandchildren will continue to learn from these things. That is why we continue to celebrate our life 
for many years to come. Mommy Abosede was a great mother, a mother of all, a mother with a large heart. Even though she is no more, her legacy will remain until the end of time. We thank God for this precious gold, a blessing to humanity. May she continue to enjoy the fruits of our good labors in the presence of our Lord forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>